but building materials. Let's talk about them just a little bit because that's what we're going to focus on here, making sure we get all we need, you know, on top of what we're getting from the diet. Of all the human essential nutrition, and here's the, here's the big one for you, vitamin and minerals are the most difficult to attain in proper amounts, which is the RDAs. And I'm going to prove that to you in just a second, especially when calories, within the calories that maintain a healthy weight. Now, I've never seen anybody be able to design a, uh, any kind of menu with uh, less than 3,500 3, calories that might have all the nutrition. And even then, you don't know if it has all the nutrition because you got to somehow you've got to test all the food right before you eat it to make sure those vitamin minerals are really in there. You don't know they're in there just because they say they're in there. Can't see them. I'll prove to you in a minute. To maintain a healthy weight within the trappings of developed Western societies. In other words, we live in areas that are fairly polluted. You know, our water isn't the best in the world. Our atmosphere isn't always the best in the world. So we're that's always fighting against our nutrition as well. And we're kind of stuck with that. And not to mention, we're kind of sucked into eating different foods, foods that maybe aren't the best for you, but at the same time, you know, we're eating them. All right. So we're getting a, we're getting some high caloric value with very low nutrient value. So. So let's talk about that. So here's the test, ready? Quick test. Number one, find the four essential macros that we just talked about and amounts. Pretty easy, huh? Right? I'd say that was my protein. I'd say that was my carbs. And I'd say I got at least six or eight ounces there. And I got about a cup of, cup of, of carbs there, right? And there's my water and plenty of fat. I can see that with my French fries and and uh, my meat and what's in the meat, right? So that's pretty easy for every human being. I don't care who you are to identify the four macros we need. And by the way, in case you can't identify it, it shows up some other way. <laughs> the amounts you're consuming show up in the American society today. We are fatter than ever, and that's for micros. It's not from it's not for that's for macros. It's not for micros, obviously. So one way or another, it's easy to count. You can actually visually see it. Now you ready? Here comes your test. Find and name the 32 essential micros and amounts. Really? Ain't nobody able to do that. You can say, well, that pepper's supposed to have vitamin C and it's supposed to have this, supposed to have this. Well, you don't know that. It depends if it was in the soil where it was grown, how it was shipped, how it's cooked. I mean, the whole thing is just, you know, it's, it's comical when someone says, well, yeah, I know I got them all for my food because I eat right. That is just, just, it's just, bad news. It just doesn't work. Okay. So, because you can't name them and you certainly can't see the amounts in here. Bingo. But here are the results in case you don't know. Here are the percentage of people that are low on all the vitamins and minerals right here. Up to 86% of our U.S. population is low on, this is with fortified food, by the way. So from food alone, everyone has gaps. So all of us here, if we didn't take our multivitamin, I know everybody on this call does, a real multivitamin mineral that's got all these gaps, all these things that we can fill. All of us without that would be at least three or we would be in three or four of these categories for sure. And that's if we ate well. Most people are in almost all these categories. So everyone is missing.